Hey, cats. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? He does it. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get to with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Damn Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my Rangers and expect to get away with it. So, of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fairweather fan? Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the field. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? So your ship's got a dark and violent history? This is just too perfect. Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone, pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss.
What do you need? Apologies, Captain, but I can't. All right, I'm on the move. Customs and inspection, right this way! Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Oh, thank the law. I could use a diversion. Tell me more, then. Really sell it to me. I like where this is headed. What happened to this, uh, vile kidnapper? You must feel terrific. Good for you.
You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Surely this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top in manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sure thing. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera, she'll set you right. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are gonna take you off station, though. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just Vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. Are you pulling my leg? You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, 
the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Glad to help. All right. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sure thing. Be seeing you. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, mister? Chief Junlei Tennyson. She runs the ship does a real great job of it, too. Her family's worked on it for, gosh, since it was built, I think, back before the crossing. What's she like? Is she a good boss? Good as she can be, I guess. What with all the troubles Groundbreaker's facing. She could stand to lighten up, I suppose, but she tries her best to do right by folks, and that's what matters. No reason. Don't you trouble yourself over it, Captain. That was very convincing, miss. I think your captain almost bought it. Yes, sir, of course. I'm sorry if I overstepped. Was just having fun is all. Didn't mean anything by it. Sure is, but she makes it look easy. She's real competent, our chief even if she ain't real friendly. They're run by Miss Hagen. Half the tramp captains and contractors in the system have worked for her. I ought to warn you straight off. Scuttlebutt says some of the jobs they do aren't exactly above board. Downright anti-business, if you catch my meaning. Let's say there's been times when I heard somebody needed a thing. And somebody else had such a thing, but they weren't inclined to sell. Now let's say the one who had the thing suddenly found theirs missing, and the one who needed got one. If anyone asks, Sublight says it got salvaged from an old wreck. Case closed. If anybody could prove them criminals, the board would have put their foot down a long time past. They always got, uh, what do they call it? Deniability? Something gets nicked or someone turns up dead, Sublight says, hey, independent contractor, not our responsibility. But everyone knows what they're doing, top to bottom. Against is a strong word. Let's say that if you need something the board ain't inclined to sell, you might look to Sublight to get it. You might pay Sublight a shitload of bits for it, but that money gets passed on to their contractors, so 
In the end, it's still business. You must admit, there is a beauty to the order of it. Everything operates within the constraints of the grand plan, even organized crime. People do what they gotta to get by. Oh, sure, sure, sorry. Gets a mite boring at this desk, you know. Then I get to chatting too much, and Commandant Sunil's gotta reprimand me again, and... Oops! Doing it again. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Captain's real understanding. Can't speak for the Captain, but I'm used to listening to folks drone on about their pointless, depressing lives. Awful generous of you, listening to me like this. We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, that's not... We just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. McRed's lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor does, I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded. Thinking he won't like that one bit. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Oh, I will. Soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. So, in about three to seven weeks. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Now let's not start a fuss. I'm just trying to do my job, and I can't do it while chit-chatting with you. This is security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chi- I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Is it done? Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest.
Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Well, well, well. What fine treasures might await us in here? Done. We're still alive.
Now, I don't say this lightly, but that is a work of sheer universal beauty. be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Purple berry flip. There goes purple berry punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Oh, my mistake. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only gonna get worse. They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei in engineering. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about 10 years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kinda chew your face off for fun. Might all be board propaganda, though. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Some big shot down in Byzantium's holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. There's your drink.
There? Help! Thank you, stranger. Shit, ain't that a relief? You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I haven't clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. You're gonna shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? Is that how it is? That all? Of course. Everyone on the ship's gonna hear about this. Hell, it's the only chance I've got to keep my job.
That's impressive. Traffic's down all over. Even the inners are holding on to their manufacturer. Excellent that way down. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. All the better for performing a little percussive maintenance. Self-improvement, including one's weapons, is always a worthy endeavor. Take your basic Deadeye assault rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barreled heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Only takes a bit of elbow grease, and a spot of engineering know-how. Most ships have a workbench near the cargo hold. Ours is in engineering. You could take your new toys over there if you feel like tinkering. So, what can I get you? they do with their waste I guess they just chuck it down here uh, how about I stay up top? you know keep watch okay I know she's in there, Mfuru. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Mfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. <laughs> yeah, if she's in the morgue. Because I'm a doctor. I know what illness looks like. And Jesse was looking as sleek as a sprat in the Tyleritos last time I saw her. And anyway, if someone suddenly comes down with a calamitous disease, it doesn't stay secret for long around here. You say that like it's weird. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Something I can help you with? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. 
Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Sure, this is perfectly safe. I'd rather not die early of an inf- To the last ratchet on rotten time! Leave me in peace! You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly lethally contagious, but I'll be fine so long as I'm left alone. Should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay, we can discuss this like the level headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it, and I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? <laughs> 